I mean, as far as changes, I mean, not not too many changes. Uh, just you know, coach. I feel like coach is gonna put us in a position to you know to make plays, and uh, I mean, my job is to take care of my job. So I mean, when the ball is in the air, I'm gonna I'll take care of. It. I see Terrence Marshall has actually got his name out in the streets. So I decided to do a player profile on him. Terrence Marshall is a wide receiver that came from LSU. In 2021, he was drafted by the Panthers in the second round, 27th pick. Prospect notes. He stands 6'2", weighs 205, ran a 4-4 at his combine. Coming out of high school, he was a five-star recruit. The film showed that he's long, tracks the ball well, good at route running, has adequate speed, and was able to get separation. The negatives. As a prospect, I didn't like that he didn't do the short shuttle. And in his last season, despite being 6'2", 205, he played in the slot 82.2% of the time. Also in his last season, his on-target passes drop was 12.7%, which is a red flag. Now that could have been a bad year since the previous season. It was 4.2, which is fine. Badges. Marshall earned my steady progress badge, my early declare badge, my potential alpha badge, and surprisingly earned my wide receiver one potential badge. That's why it's been so tough watching him not produce in the league. He was also an elite contested catcher in college. He met my athletic threshold for wide receivers on the things he was tested for at his combine. Fantasy Football Outlook. As I touched on, Marshall has been unproductive thus far in his career and therefore is disappointing. I still drafted him this year in late rounds in redraft and best ball and also picked him up off of waivers in dynasty leagues. I figured maybe there's a chance. Now that there's a new quarterback in town, the last two games he has commanded a lot of targets. Week three, eight targets and week four, 10 targets. If Marshall didn't earn my wide receiver one potential badge, I would have been gave up on him. And no, I don't think he will ever be that, but he was able to produce in college enough to earn that badge that many other prospects weren't able to meet the criteria to earn. So he was a bulletproof prospect that managed not to live up to expectation. With all that being said, he needs to be picked up off of waivers and leagues just because of the targets he's earning. Of course, don't spend much fab on him. But with the bye weeks coming, he definitely should be able to be a spot start if you are in a pickle.